Hello, uh, here's a really terrible picture I drew. <laughs> I'm not even sure why I'm making a video of it. <laughs> no. Uh, here, hello, uh, here is a picture of an Imperial Courier. It's an Imperial Courier that is fitted out for AX Combat. It looks a bit kind of like wide because it's got a ship kit on. Uh, and it's kind of proportionally skewed a bit. But uh, let's put that to one side. <laughs> And uh, basically, I started out by drawing it in a uh, pencil crayon, and now I'm refining the lines using water and diluting the pencil crayon into paint, which is easy to use chalk over and also uh, gives a nice background tone, which is helpful, especially on top of the purple paper. So now I'm just sort of clarifying. I did make the picture lighter so I could see the shape of the ship and then, as always, I forgot to make it dark again. So this is actually a little bit brighter than the original picture. So this 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 AX Courier, apparently um, Courier is doable. <laughs> Even though it's a small ship, it's doable. You've got three medium uh, hard points, so that's, that's a, a thing. Uh, you can't use them all at the same time because you'll overheat because you've only got space for a, a, a single heat sink probably. <laughs> so uh, um, yeah, but certainly you can stick the gauss cannons and the black and whatnot on it and, and then just pure a couple of cyclopses possibly. I couldn't. I can't do this. I'd like to. I'd like to learn properly. I can, I can kill scouts. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah, so obviously you do need to manage your pips and your heat really carefully. And you can't get too close because the weapons are on the wingtips. <laughs> so you just shoot round it, which might lead to some small amount of weapon drop off possibly because you've got to stay away so they converge. Or you could just use them one at a time. <laughs> I don't know. It looks amazing, does the Imperial. Not this picture of it, obviously, but it looks amazing. <laughs> The Imperial Courier, it really is a, a gorgeous ship. Internally, when you look, when you sat in the cockpit, it, it, it has a completely different feel to nearly all the other ships. It's got that wonderful Gitomaya shape, the, the curvy Imperial thing going on, but it's got like this circular cockpit thing. The, 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 the windows circle. It's a circle window. And it is really nice, just a different feel. It's just curvy and kind of like uh, sweepy and different. It looks good. I like it. And it's obviously, it's got those, those pods on the side that, uh, that, that mean you can flip and turn and thrust and go fast. So it's quite nippy. It, apparently you can get it over, well over 500, uh, 500 meters, uh, meters a second. So. so that's pretty, pretty good, isn't it? Um, yeah, uh, what else am I going to say about it? I don't really know. Mostly, I, I suppose I have to talk about the purple, purpleness of it. It's pretty purple, isn't it? I suspect that may be something to do with the star, the star that you can see through the planetary ring that I have not yet drawn. I've not drawn it, but it's up there on the right-hand side. Oh, look, felt-tip pen. Can't go wrong with felt-tip pen. Well, you can, but it, it's, it's a useful cheating method. Um... Yeah, the, uh, the star, I suspect, is probably something like a wolf rayette because it's making everything purple and you just don't get uh, fluorescent purple ships to this degree. You'd probably get the um, the engine colour, obviously. You can get that pinky purple engine colour. Looks like it's got pink engine colour. But you don't get, you don't get that purple, um, that purple glow. Uh, oh yeah, well, there was a purple glowing um, decal, decal, um, for Halloween, <laughs> but that's not, that's not this. This is, yeah, it's kind of a almost an iridescent purple quality. There was an iridescent, wasn't there? Was it Twilight? Wasn't it called? Don't know whether that's this ship paint. I'm not sure. Looks cool though. I, I love that. Love that blue purple color. It's, it, it, it kind of suggests blue, but. It, it, it's, it looks burpling. Here's the rings. There they are. I'm, I'm, I'm doing... It definitely must be something like a, a, a blue star of some sort. It's there. I actually did the, um, the the glow from the star slightly to the left of the star. So, uh, but don't tell anyone. Uh, I, I, obviously, this is a triumph from start to finish. <laughs> Look there, did it in paint because that makes it really bright. And there, and then... I, to be honest, that's the easiest way of making a star look starry. And popping a few bits and bobs on, and uh, and the rays there they are. 
rays going out from the star, which I then cleverly did after the paint so I couldn't smudge them in properly. <laughs> but you know what? I, did, I didn't turn out badly in the end. It's all right. Anyway, thank you for listening uh, and uh, I will probably do another one this week.